Today is March 20th, 2022. So I'm back from the dead. I really didn't want to leave this channel on such a negative note like I did last year. And it seems that I keep making these videos every March 20th for some reason. Man, you don't know how many times I wanted to make this video like back in like october i was like i'll make another video uh and then it was november and then it was december and then it was january and i feel like i just kept stalling making the video because i wanted to be at like like the most perfect point in my life and obviously nothing's ever going to be perfect so i figured why not right now it's been a year since i posted uh, my last video. The last thing that I said was that I wanted to try harder with my field specifically. Not just that, but settling for less in life. When I look back at that video a year ago, I see somebody who's just 24 in pain, dealing with a physical issue, working at a restaurant, still living with their parents, in debt from like college. And I look at myself now, things are a little bit different. They're not exactly where I want them to be, but they are different in a better way, I would say. I know my main focus last year was that I wanted to get back on track in my career and get a job in my field and really try and prove myself to somebody and build my portfolio and stuff like that. I did interview with a number of companies between March and September. I interviewed with this job at the very end of July and they gave me an offer to assist editing and shooting videos for a marketing company in Chicago. I accepted the offer uh, the day before my 25th birthday, <laughs> so back in August. And I was really happy to finally get that job after struggling since COVID started, that I lost my job in my field after trying so hard to get it. Finally got that job that I always wanted. And what's ironic was that I was asked partially to come back to the job I did lose before the pandemic, but they could only afford for me to like work one week. Initially I accepted it, but it seemed like they kept stalling, bringing me back on. Like they're just like, okay, maybe next week, maybe next week, maybe next week. Um, and that was probably all of like June or July or something last year. And then by the time things started to like come together with them, I was interviewing and got the offer with the current job that I have. So I had to choose one or the other. And I felt like it was a better option to choose this new place. I've been working there since the beginning of September. Uh, I still work there. I like where things are going right now. I get to do what I always wanted to do, which was professionally shoot and edit videos. And it's a good company. And I'm really happy that somebody took a chance on me finally especially since i was struggling so much with covid and everything there there are some things that i do miss about working at a restaurant there's a lot of things i don't miss because anybody that's worked in like the in service industry whether it's like retail or restaurants or whatever it's like the best and the worst job you'll ever have um it got really toxic and part of me thought like maybe I could still work there over the weekends. I think the turning point for me was when, you know, I was hosting a Saturday night by myself and like 500 people are walking through the door and people like to shoot the messenger. So people are straight up yelling at me or getting mad at me that I couldn't see them at whatever freaking booth that they wanted. And I was by myself and I just straight up broke down and start crying i'm like i can't do this anymore <laughs> like and that was that that day i literally put in like not even two weeks i was just like i'm i'm gone next saturday i'm done like i can't do this and i feel bad because when i first started there it wasn't that bad but it just kind of got worse over time 
after starting this new job, I realized how toxic that environment was. Like, oh, maybe, like, it's good that you shouldn't, like, get verbally abused every day by, like, random strangers because they wanted a fucking booth. <laughs> I'm glad that things did turn around with this job, but also another goal of mine last year was that I wanted to focus on my health more. I was suffering with a certain kind of pain for like two years or I started picking up on it two years and it got to a point where it literally started ruining my life. The pain was so bad it was I don't know it felt humiliating to admit to somebody that I was in pain when I would sit or even go to the bathroom um it got so bad to a point where I had a breaking point with that and I didn't know what was causing this pain for a really long time and I only started really investigating it probably like two weeks after that video I put out last year so like April maybe I was just going to like the wrong professionals for help because I'd be like why is this happening to me and they didn't know what was wrong I think what was worse was when somebody told me that it was all in my head and how can something be in your head when you wake up every day in so much pain you know and what was worse was that I had a relationship and I let it fall through the cracks because I was in like so much denial of how bad the pain was until like everything completely fell apart and when it ended I told them that I promised that I would fix it so immediately after that I went and had an appointment with a doctor and I was actually going in for one thing but I ended up walking out of that office with a referral to a pelvic floor specialist and I found out through physical therapy that I had pelvic floor dysfunction. Part of me was happy that I finally had some sort of answer as to what was creating pain for so long but part of me felt like for whatever reason that it was going on longer than like I realized um, that it was going on longer than two years and I just started picking up on it and after like two years ago. And it's crazy because the physical therapist was like sometimes things just happen like there's no explanation behind it and I'm literally like that person that will crawl through the depths of hell to find out like the root of the problem and I kept telling her every single appointment like I want to be 100% I want to be pain free like I literally told her I'm like there's no way in hell that this is just like some weird anomaly like that I'm in pain for like just no reason and physical therapy could only do so much I felt like there was a bigger issue going on so at the time we went to see my uncle because we went to like dancing with the stars every week or whatever so he started seeing a chiropractor and then I started seeing a chiropractor I straight up like signed up to for an appointment to see a chiropractor literally like that night and then I just told my parents the next day I got an appointment like maybe there's something else going on the chiropractor looked at me and <laughs> My god, my hips are so beyond fucked up. That's that's my answer right there. My hips were literally like this. It was crazy is that you can see it in like pictures. Like my posture. Like you can literally see how fucked up my hips are. And what's crazy was that over time he kept adjusting me and he couldn't figure out why I kept like slowly going back. My body just kept slowly going back to like being out of whack. And we found out that I needed shoe inserts because I have flat feet. It was because all the evidence was at the bottom of my shoe at the end of the day. And for whatever reason, if y'all think I'm fucking lying about this, these were the only shoes that I saved that weren't fucked up. Um, if you can just look <laughs> the way I walk. Just straight up destroys the bottom of my shoe. 
That's how fucked up my feet are. <laughs> That's me holding it straight. That's literally me holding it straight. That's how fucked up my feet are. And that was the reason why I was having searing pain. And I know it's been going on longer than two years because I had surgery on my feet when I was a teenager and they gave me shoe inserts um, just on my heels and my chiropractor said that usually you, you're supposed to change your shoe inserts every two years. I had the same shoe inserts in for like 10 years. <laughs> But it's just kind of like my podiatrist didn't even like tell me or my parents like, hey, you need to change these every two years. Why? I don't know. What the fuck? Because now I'm suffering from it. <sighs> and I can't lie and say that like it's gone forever. I'm totally fine. Like I'm fucking perfect. No, I'm not. Things are still kind of going out of whack still. I still see the chiropractor. It's not like what it was like a year ago. Let's put it that way. And it's crazy how much your mood changes when you get fixed and you're not in pain anymore, you know? It's like you're, complete, you're a completely different person. And I found out some other issues about me. I was just so sick of, like, crying all the time, just being overly emotional. I found out why, and I'm getting that taken care of. It's just kind of like, you know, in a year from now... I just want to look back at this video at like everything I'm dealing with right now is just a memory, you know, where I don't have to go any more chiropractor appointments and um, I'm used to my new job and three weeks ago I started going to the gym with Till and Ashton and Till and I did leg day today and to be honest I know everybody hates leg day, but like, I like leg day, <laughs> mostly because it's, I think it's helping what's going on, you know, down there, you know, and I like going to the gym, you know, I just, I feel good after I go. I'm in a better position than I was a year ago, for sure. Even though I'm like fucking crying right now, I'm still fuck. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm like being really vulnerable right now. <laughs> I guess after turning 25 and figuring out for myself, but also just having a conversation with my dad that, you know, when you get older, you need to focus on what's important and like what you ultimately want and like what you're willing to do to like get to that point, whether it's work or health or relationships or friendships. I'm like having less and less patience for putting up with bullshit and I'm really thankful that Taylor and Ashton are helping me with the gym. Because, like, fuck, I don't know what to do at the gym. Like, if you had me go by myself into the gym, I wouldn't even know what to do, where to start. You know, I think it's a lot more fun when you're at the gym with, with your friends. Because I wanted to go to the gym for, like, the longest time. Not just for, like, helping my, like, um you know, pain issues, but, like, also, I have shit posture, man. Like, dude, I, like, slouch so bad, and it's been like that since, like, I was a little kid, um, just for, like, self-conscious reasons, you know, so I feel like I don't need to owe anybody an explanation like this, but then again, I'm, like, at that point in my life where, like, I really don't fucking care that, like, I'm making this video. I just didn't want to leave this channel on like such a depressing note. With that being said, there were a couple of videos that I did shoot last year. And me going through a whole depression hole, I never edited them up until like a month ago. So for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be posting each video like in order of when I shot them. I just feel a little guilty that I didn't, I just kind of stopped. Cause I just didn't want to put effort into like a lot of things last year. I think a lot of things are at a turning point right now. And I'm going to keep 
moving forward in that direction, you know, because I don't want to stop this progression that's been going on. I'm at that point where I'm just taking things one day at a time. For real. I'm like, I want to enjoy things that matter and take time and patience and effort into things that I care about. Last year, I was just at a point in my life where I couldn't even take care of myself, let alone put somebody else first in my life. And I feel like a lot of guilt that I couldn't do what I wanted to do, you know? I couldn't be that person that I wanted to be. And the best thing that I'm doing right now is just taking care of myself. And my goal for this year is to keep working on myself and being better than I am right now. And just one day be that person where I'm just, you know, super confident enough in my own skin that like I can and feel super successful and super happy. And I think right now I'm just really happy that I did get the job that I wanted and I did get the help that I needed. And I'm becoming the person I always wanted to be. So, so yeah. I guess I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Otherwise, yeah, I guess be on the lookout. Um, I'll be posting a video once a week for like the next month. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how to end this video, but like, you know, just keep rolling. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>